Hello guys, welcome to episode 1 of SimuCraft Reloaded. That's right, we are now in 1.7.2. Uh, just before we get going, there's a couple of things that I want you to know. Uh, one, we are not in hardcore mode. I'm not going to do that this time around because it did cause a couple of issues with building stuff last time. Uh, two, as you may or may not be able to hear, I have a new mic. Um... I have to have it quite close to my face, but the sound quality is a lot better. Let's hope it goes well. Please let me know what you think. And three, there's a couple of items that we forgot, well, I forgot, to uh, give myself when we, when I, when I, when I spawned in the stuff to, to give us a good start, a head start on the, on the game here, on the map. One of the things was some ender lily seeds, and I'm not going to give myself a big bunch of them, going to give myself five and I'm going to plant them on grass here which means that they are going to take a while to grow they are going to take a while to grow They're not going to be anywhere near as fast as they were as they were on the end stone uh, in the in the last series uh, the other was another tool oh, a mattock and I'm just going to give myself an alumite one just like everything else and there is one other thing, but we could probably make that. Yeah, no, but the, the other other thing was um, a sleeping bag. It was a sleeping bag, but we can always make one of them. Now, I have assigned people jobs. Everyone's working. Well, not everyone, but every building that needs somebody has somebody. I've only got three people working on the guards, and I might actually reduce that because our money is going down rather quickly. So, let's just give ourselves one for now, because I would very much like to get some, uh, a miner going. Just so we, we need to get diamonds so we can get a quarry, because, I mean, let's face it, we know that the miners, if we use them long term, start messing up with certain blocks, don't they? Now, we did forget to go ahead and put a chunk loader down. I've already, already set it to the maximum boundary, and in fact, if I go back into creative I can show you the lasers encompass the entire town so that works to our benefit here come on thank you let's go ahead turn off the lasers and replace that there we go there is, I don't know if I explained about this shop properly, but what this is, this is a grocer's shop. And what they sell is fruit and veg. As you can see here, carrots and potatoes. So that's awesome. Oh, there is one farm that I, two, well, two farms that I don't have anyone working at right now. Uh, one of them is the milk farm. We can't, there's no point in us using that one until we got a cheese factory up and running. I love how fast this is. And the other one is an egg farm. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to need it or not, but I thought it would be nice to actually have it set up. Uh, this one's the egg farm. It, 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 it just collects the eggs dropped by the chickens. So, yeah, I think that's everything you need to know uh, about the setup that I forgot, anything I forgot. So, we are going to need a little bit of cobble. And let's just go ahead and buy a, a stack of it. Hello. Uh, want to buy some couple, please? Oh, yes, no, yes. Mods. Right. Well, I have Thank had you. to switch Big out map writer minimap for journey map minimap. The map writer one was causing crashes. I don't know why. And every time I jumped into the world, the map itself. Oh, you can't do it that way. But um, if I, there, look, you can see it only shows you where you've been. Well, that got reset and centered recentered on me every time I logged in so I've swapped that over and I have added in iron chests and I think that will work out quite well so that, that that particular one doesn't spawn in any extra um, blocks or anything so it's all good right so I'm gonna need a couple of these I don't have oh right here I'm going to pick all of these up 
and turn them into the other type, I think. The Tinker's Construct version. Make things a lot easier for us. Boom. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks a little weirder, I know, but you know, items stay in there. So we're gonna need some sticks and some wood. And that's what we need. So we're going to make the which way around is it? I think it's cobble at the bottom. I always end up forgetting. Yay! Did it right this time. And of course we now need to go and find ourselves a yellow flower. Um Let's go hunting for a yellow flower. Let's go this way. We can grab some wool in the, at the same time. Um, if there is any in here. Oh, sounds like there is. I never Which chest? The face, but in your case, I'll be glad to make we'll an take exception. that so we can make our sleeping bag. There we go. Right, so we need a yellow flower. There's one right here. There we go. We didn't want, didn't want to uh, grab it off me. We're going to need the simian markers. And we do need to go back because we need to grab a chest. In fact, I'm going to make two iron chests, I think. You can go iron chest, even though it's called the iron chest mod, it's not just iron chests that you can make. You can make uh, iron, gold, there's multiple. Uh, let's have a look. You see, you've got your iron chest, gold chest, diamond, copper, silver, crystal, and obsidian, and dirt. And they all have varied different sizes available to them. Let's grab that. Going to need 16 of these. Let's go ahead and make our sleeping bag so we can just get some sleep right now rather than go all the way upstairs and then all the way back down again. There we go. I've already uh, saved my location. I saved my spawn upstairs, so that's fine. And this time it automatically re-equips the chest plate and keeps this in your inventory. So you, don't, so you don't have to worry about losing it, which is awesome. Right, so let's make two chests. And then I'm going to want to make two upgrades here. Actually, do you know what? I might upgrade it all the way to gold. We have the stuff right now. So we're gonna need another two of these. done so how much money do we have 270 good laying off the two soldiers has helped our money situation a great deal um, let's go get some glass I want to cover up the mine with glass just to make sure no one falls in I remember when this Hello. whole fields as far as the eye could see uh, oh that's still doing that is it okay Noisy. Thank, Thank you. you. Do call again soon. Uh, maybe. Right, so the question is, where do we want this? Um, maybe back here amongst the trees. Get it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think here, back here. So if we say there's one on the front left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want a ten by ten. Now these, by the way, actually have, before these were limited to 64 blocks. These actually have no more limit on them. And that includes, you know when you place one down, place down a, some, a minor so they go forwards. I'm sorry guys. That's my phone. Bear with me one Sorry about that, guys. It was the landlord. Um, 
I had to pick up in case it was my daughter's school or something. So what was I saying? Yes, this actually has no limit in, in length now. And if you were to put down, if I were to just put, get rid of that one and put this down in front of this one so that it goes forwards instead of down, you can actually have it at any size you want now. You can actually go like over a 100 if you really, really, really wanted to. And we're not going to, of course. We're just going to go 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's here. 10 by 10 should do to begin with. So they're going to go downwards. And then once they go down, I'm just going to send them on a 3 by 3 strip forwards um, to, to get us some... Try and get us some diamonds, which is what we need. Let's hire a miner. Uh, get rid of dirt, sand, and stone. I remember Cover when this was all Perfect. fields as far so as I'm going to put could down see. the double chest here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the I'm ready. wood to iron upgrades. I'm going to right click on them, and that turns them into these. Now, one of these iron chests has enough, has the same amount of space as a double wooden chest, which is awesome. But then we're going to go one, one further. We're going to upgrade these by right clicking to gold. See how much more space that's got, which is fantastic. Um, so we now need to go ahead and put the glass in. Oh wait, it's a 10 by 10, they're gonna need 100. So they're gonna need a little bit more glass. Let's go grab another stack. Mm. It'd be great if we grab some food as well. I might just grab some carrots, that way we don't need to worry about cooking them. Hello. Uh, can I have some more glass, please? Thank you. And let's go grab Thank ourselves you. some carrots. Mm. It's not stealing, I pay your wages. <laughs> well, it's technically it's true. Hello there. Uh, Lovely day, isn't gonna it? grab some carrots. Thank you. Let's head back to the mine. Block, block, block. I think I did a very, very, very good thing in putting down the, in this uh, road here. It works really well. It goes so much faster. And drop. Perfect. There you go. You've got two stacks of glass now. Uh, Asian? Asian? I don't know. Yeah, let me help you out. Oh, that was my bad. I didn't mean to do that one. And I mean, this obviously helps us. I need to level up the tools all over again, which I might just do off camera, guys. Um, unless you'd rather see it, I'll just do it off camera. Make things a lot faster for you. Although these do go pretty quickly. And then if you remember, uh, last series we had, what was it? Um, silk Touch on a pick. Well, this time, instead of Silk Touch, I would still like to have a tool that would mine stone rather than cobble. Um, and one that does cobble. So, you know, one of each. But this time what I might do is try for auto smelting. Uh, auto smelting would, would not slow down the pick at all but it would grab... What are you doing? What? Oh, there we go. Still no glass, okay. It, what it would do is it would actually, um, instead of slowing it down by actually using Silk Touch, it would actually cook the, the cobblestone as it mines it and turn it into stone that way. And it won't slow down the pick at all, which I think would be a lot more beneficial to us. Um, we could also automatically mine, uh, mine, cook ores when we get them as well. Although we, would, we could be losing out if we do it that way. We wouldn't get the uh, double like we would with Tinker's Construct. Are you not going to do the damn thing? I just want them to stop putting the glass there for safety. If they don't do it after this layer, then I'm going to go ahead and do it myself. So I hope you guys are excited for the uh, update. There 
are a lot there are some things with different recipes um there are some things that are completely different in total like if you remember the servos from the thermal expansion they are completely different now you can't just plonk down a pipe and say um this side's going to be extract this side's not if that makes any sense it's completely different look, 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 let me show you you have to actually make the in or the out servos that's what they are now this is what the servos are now these are just pipes on their own with absolutely nothing that can be done with them until you attach the appropriate things here also some pipes can't deal with hot or cold uh, liquids that are too hot or too cold um, they, the pipes themselves will break so in the long run this is going to be a little bit different <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what else is different, to be honest. Okay. Fine, I'll do it this way. Um, I'm not sure entirely what's, what's different and what isn't. I haven't investigated everything, though I can tell you at least one thing that I have been so looking forward to having. Um, if you remember, in the last series, we tried to make a bow from Tinker's Construct, and it wasn't very good. Well, you can actually make the crossbow this time. If you remember, I was talking about the crossbow in the last series and how great it was. You can actually make it. Oh, for crying out loud. You can actually make it this time. And seriously, they are awesome. Crossbows are fantastic. And I think we might have to go ahead and try and do that as soon as possible. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, might even try and do it next episode. It won't be an Illumite one because... We don't have any obsidian. We only have the Illumite that we have, which can be used for repairing. And I only made 10 ingots worth. Um, not wanting to cheat in too much, you know. I didn't want to overdo it on the whole spawning in items to start us off with. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing anything. We'd have everything at our fingertips. Another thing that I do know has changed a great deal. And it will make it a lot harder to create the uh, necessary things is applied energistics it's going to take us a lot longer to get a sorting system up and running because we need to go ahead and find some fallen meteors um heart we need the sky stone that the meteors are made up of and there's a chest hidden inside these meteors and we need to harvest uh, find this chest and dig up um and, and, and take out of it stencils and there are four different stencils that we need and there's no guarantee what stencils are in what um, chest in these in these meteors so yeah we've got a lot of different stuff going on sleeping time sleeping time there we go It's automatic. I go, to, I go. It's automatic. I try to try to re-equip. Yep, we are definitely going up with our money. Um, that's not going to last forever though, because as she levels, it doesn't show you on here either. Uh, not until they've actually gone up. There's no progress bar like there used to be. Um, but I think it all goes well. I think it's all going to go well. It's just going to take time. There are some. Oh, there is one thing you need to be careful of with the miners. If there's flowing water, they actually try to mine that up now. And then, of course, it flows back and you can't. And oh, so annoying. I actually want to get prepared, some items prepared for next episode. I know this episode's been fairly dull, but it's been a bit of an introduction-y kind of video. Um, actually, yeah, let's, let's take a few more. I'm gonna make an iron one for now. Mm. So what I want to do, of course, is get the patterns. That's a tool station. Wait. That's my bad, guys. I spawned in the wrong object. I spawned in a tool station and a tool forge. What I meant to give myself originally was a stencil table, so let's go ahead and do that.
There we go, stencil table. Made out of a different wood, apparently, but it's fine. All right, so we are gonna need some stencils. I didn't know whether or not I gave myself any, but they're easy enough to make, if you guys remember. Let's grab half a stack of, well, half of what we had in there on the depleted stack. Gonna need some sticks. And, thank you, some wood. That is close enough to a perfect. Just need just just shy one plank. Look at this, look, new items. Right. So we are going to need the arrowhead, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. Um what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? That's a throwing knife. Arrows. Ah, bolts. Here we go. So we need the bolt core and the fletching. Fletching will be easy enough. And we need a bolt core. There. Crossbow body pattern. What else do we need? What do we need for the crossbow itself? Wait, why is there two lots of bows? That's a short bow and a long bow. Oh, that's cool. For the crossbow is what we need. So, we're going to need one of these which is a large cross pattern. The bow itself. Oh, that's different then. For you. Bow limb. Oh, no, we need you. We need definitely need you. We need the tough binding. So we've got the tough binding, the crossbow limb pattern. Oh, do you know what? I think it's actually tool rods. I think it actually might be tool rods. We do need the bow string. So we've got the string, we've got the crossbow body, we've got the limb, and we've got the tough binding. So we are going to need one, two, three, four, different patterns boom and we'll go ahead and chuck that in there right guys well, I'm gonna let that smelt down uh, oh look, look, look see these are still at zero that's only at 14 that's how long it takes on normal grass it takes so long but well, I'm gonna let these guys smelt down uh, in between episodes I'm going to create the necessary out of stone, which you guys have seen plenty of times before. Um. Oh. That might be a problem. Um. So what was it? Neverack. Magical wood. Obsidian. Case or oh, just use enchanted books. And this version, I think, that's the wrong room. I need to double check this. I know it's the end of the episode, guys. I just need to check the enchanting. So I think it might be the new, the upgraded version of it where you need. Oh no, maybe not. You could just go ahead and chuck that in there. All right, you don't need any lapis for it. That's fantastic. Okay then, so, it looks like I'm making some magical wood. Right, guys, well, I'm going to end off the episode here. I'm going to let them do what it's doing, and I'm going to make what I can, um, stone counterpart-wise, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.